Hey up peeps, I am Moobit from Team Reflector and we're back in the super shed which means of course it's review time. And today we're going to be reviewing something a bit different and it's probably one of the best indie filmmaking lighting rig kind of setups that uh, I think the lads and I have seen in a long time and it's these, the uh, Specular System by Spiffy Gear. We've taken them on a couple of shoots now and a few photo shoots and video shoots and stuff like that and they've worked out quite well and the best thing is they're not going to break the bank either. So if that's picture of interest, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, right off the bat, this is not a sponsored video. We did actually buy these sets with our own company money, although we have since struck up a really good relationship with the Spiffy Gear people. Really nice, approachable guys. And they have asked us to feed back directly to them from our perspective as indie filmmakers for, I guess, new versions of this kind of system and other products that they might be bringing out. But of course, we're not getting paid by them in any way. They haven't, they haven't told us what to say. They are seeing this video at the same time as you guys are. They don't know what we're going to say about them. However, they have given us an affiliate link, which is in the description below, to pass on to you guys. So if you're interested in checking out the product for yourself, please click that link and it'll really help us out in bringing you more content like this in the future. With all that out of the way, this is the product itself. It's a really cool modular dimmable lighting system that has a pretty decent colour temperature really of 5500 Kelvin to 5750 Kelvin. They can actually be mounted in a variety of different ways using the inbuilt rail system on each light as you can see here. And you can even attach coloured gels to them as you'll see later on. In the sort of core kit box if you will you get a pretty decently built kind of hard fabric case. You've probably seen things like this before in gimbal cases and things like that. And it contains pretty much everything you'll, you really need to make some rather cool lighting combinations, which we'll get to later on. You get four of these actual light bars, one's the master and the three slave units, if you will. The only difference being that the master unit has an on-off switch and a brightness dial, as you can see here. As well as that, you get four multi-angle connectors, a light stand mount, um, eight gel clips, and of course the wall plug, which is itself a 110 to 240 watt brick. Pretty similar to what you get with most laptops and things. And that outputs 24 volt DC to the lighting unit itself via the industry standard barrel connector. Now we were sent by Spiffy Gear two extension kits, which each contain two extension cables, two H connectors for mounting two light bars in parallel to make like one really long one, if you will. And two mounting adapters with quarter 20 threads on them. But of course these are optional extras and you don't need them to actually make the core kit work. Because in our opinion, these included sort of hard plastic multi-angle connectors that you get in the core kit really make this set special. Now with them, you can literally build whatever lighting rig you can imagine in your head. And it's a bit like playing with Lego. And who doesn't like that, you know? So for example, you want a ring, you know, a ring light, a vanity light. Sure, just use all four of the right angle connectors and make one. Need a fill light? Click two bars together with a light stand and there's your fill. Key light, no problem. Arrange all four on top of each other like a football floodlight, if you will. And then, of course, use the dial to adjust the brightness accordingly. Because these things can get really bright, especially in sort of close quarters situations like this uh, talking head in a country pub that we filmed the other week with Dean. And of course, you're not just limited to using the included connectors. Uh, Spiffy Gear does make available lots of weird and wonderful connectors, including uh, this star-shaped one for uh, artistic reasons. 
I don't know. I'm not a photographer. You need to ask Nick and Dean about that one. <laughs> and of course, there's uh, the extension kit that we, we've been sent to have a look at. And using that, you can just simply connect each light bar using the extension wire connectors. So it means you can just mount and hide these things pretty much everywhere. Although as feedback to Spiffy Gear, these are proprietary connectors using a rather thin kind of plastic connector, about, about the size of a credit card, if you can imagine that. Which, you know, perhaps under heavy industry rigging use, on the sort of larger filming jobs and things they might break in the sort of not so gentle hands of of your rigger depending <laughs> depending on how gentle they're being but i mean in our opinion any average you know indie film or lower budget set with not as much crew running about it probably won't even be an issue now the feedback we have given to spiffy gear is perhaps the next version could use power over usb c as the connection type as we all know that's pretty much the way things are going right now and I can tell you from experience, the average camera operator does tend to carry a load of these types of cables in their bags. So it means if any of those proprietary cables were to fail, it might put a pause to your filming. Whereas if it's USB-C, you're probably going to have a spare one of them in your bag that you can use in a pinch and therefore your shoot day isn't paused. And given the relatively low power usage of each individual bar, you could theoretically power a single one of these just using a standard battery bank. Or, you know, all four of them using the V-mount on the back of your cine camera that's got a USB out or something like that which of course means wireless lights for more remote on-location shoots, which a lot of us do find ourselves on. Although it is worth noting that Spiffer Gear does make an optional um, specular battery adapter, although no battery is actually included with this option. Overall though, we honestly really do love this modular set. We've had a lot of fun with it, and we've used them in a variety of different shooting scenarios, including corporates, some talking head interviews, an indie film shoot, a higher end wedding, and even some toy product shots, as you can see here. And each time we found them reliable, easy to use, and actually pretty decent light quality, especially this price bracket meant that post-processing wasn't a headache at all. But of course, in the interest of balance, like any product, there's a couple of drawbacks. Uh, we think power over USB-C would be a great option in future versions. And whilst Nick and Dean had no problem mounting these things in both their own home studios and the Team Reflector office using their own light stands, as a camera operator myself, I've never actually owned a light stand because I'm not a photographer. So... So in my opinion, having the mounts that come with the core kit have a standard quarter 20 thread on them would have fixed this for me, you know, pretty easily because I could just use my tripods or my gorilla pods or anything like that as a mounting solution. Now, yes, you do get a pair of mounting adapters in the optional extension kit, but also having quarter 20s on the light bars and mounts themselves would be handy in quite a lot of situations, I think. But again, that's just my experience and my personal use case. It's definitely not a deal breaker for most people. And given the huge amount of positives this set has, I'm just mentioning it because it's probably a, just a really easy fix for the next version, you know? However, we can't praise these things enough. If you're a photographer, a corporate shooter, or, you know, an indie filmmaker, a small crew, something like that, or even a solo YouTuber like I used to be, you honestly can't get much better for the money in our opinion. But that's it for another filming tech review. Hope you enjoyed that. As I say, there is an affiliate link in the bottom if you want to click that and go through and check these things out for yourself. No pressure, of course, but it does help us out. It shows that, you know, we've got an audience and uh, it'll help us bring some cool content like this to you guys in the future. And um, let us know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, I've been Rubit. You have been an awesome source and I'll see you at the next video. Ta-ra!